all people who say we have a super recipe that is going to draw down the use of alum and the use of salt. Have they provided you with this secret recipe so you can verify, so you can tell what they're saying is actually true? And what I'm understanding from the Billy Wall operations in Darien and Port St. Joe, it's like making a There's no secret recipe. We either do it one way or it does not succeed. Um, I know that they're going to be processing 250 pounds of jellyfish a week over Pico May. I'm speaking mm -hmm. of, on the whale branch, the Cook that Campbell Creek um, comes into. And they're going to be dumping 250,000 gallons of wastewater um, a day into the Campbell Creek, which will come out into these rivers. And we do know that it has um, aluminum sulfate and high levels of salinity. How can you process, dump that much of something foreign into that creek and claim it's not going to pollute our the creek and the rovers. Okay, so I mean, that's that's the Wabigo permit. We haven't finished reviewing that. And if, if we at some point we'll make a, a preliminary or a draft decision about that. So we, we haven't come to that conclusion yet that it's safe. We we we're under obligation under the law to review their application, but we have not come to any conclusion about that yet. Well, is that, is that fair? You, are you going to let them operate over there without a per permit yeah, like no. they seem to be doing before um, before you let them work over there, before no. you issue a permit? No, we're not. 